I left the UK 14 months ago with nothing but a bag, some condoms and a dream. And uh, my life has completely changed since I moved to Thailand. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how I did it. Visa stuff, accommodation, how do you move out here? And why it is heaven on earth for a young man? Why it is literally the freest place that you can live? Why I absolutely love Thailand? And why any young man who can should move out here whilst it is still the absolute dream that it is today. So boys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get some more of you legends out to Thailand. When I moved to Thailand, I, I found it very difficult to find anyone similar to me as a guy that was giving advice on how to get here. And I just moved. My story of how I got to Thailand is I was living in the UK. I left my job. I'd saved up 10 grand, 10,000 pounds, about 12 and a half thousand dollars. And I just decided one day, I said, look, I've had enough. I'm going to go to Thailand. I had no idea how to do the visas. I didn't have a fucking clue what I was doing. I just got on a plane. I didn't know a single person. It was in the middle of COVID. I just managed to get here and I decided to figure it all out for myself. Now, 14 months later, I'm still here and I've had the best time of my life. And I figured out a hell of a lot of stuff about Thailand and why it's awesome, how to move here. And this is the video I wish I'd had when I was thinking about moving that would have just made me more assured and more comfortable with coming over here really so now since i've been here 14 months i've changed massively as a person and I, i've put a lot of that down to the experience that thailand's given me so this was my first ever ride when i first got here i decided to rent a motorbike and i'd never ridden a motorbike before but you don't need to have a motorbike license i didn't have a youtube channel I had 5k debt by this point april i got her in january i spent my money fairly fast and i got a credit card so I was down shit creek, really, and uh, I was trying to figure it out for myself. And then 10 months later, I, I, I do $30,000 months through my online business. 1,250cc motorbike. I got a hell of a lot better at riding bikes. I got 78,000 YouTube subs, and I think a lot of this is down to the things I did, but also the fact that I was living in Thailand. So I'm going to explain to you boys basically how I did it. The reason Thailand changed my life so much is because... When you come here, you are pushed out of your comfort zone. You have to become a new person and you're no longer afraid of becoming that person because there's no one around you that you know. And everybody here is so nice and kind and accepting that you can very easily become the person you need to be. So I ended up here a little bit lost and navigated for a while and got a little bit lost in the source, a little bit too much booze. But then I very much got on in tune with who I was I became the guy I needed to be. I started making daily content on YouTube. I started showing my life in Thailand. I started showing the way I was viewing the world. And that is what grew this channel. Now, I didn't realize until I actually got here how bad the West is, how bad the UK is. The, the problem with the West is everyone is up in your shit. Everyone speaks the same language. They're always fucking bothered about what you're doing. They're trying to get involved. You can't do that. You can't do this. Mm, feminism, feminism, feminism. Drink soy milk, drink soy milk, here, have some vegan stuff. Nah, 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 plant-based, nah, 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 plant-based. That's the West, all over. Nah, nah, don't, don't say anything bad, you can't swear. Nah, 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 nah. Parking ticket, parking ticket, caught on camera doing this. Speeding, speeding, you've used your phone wrong. You've taken a call in the car, blah, blah, blah. Court date, court date, have this, have that. That's the West, all over, it's fucked. It's completely fucked. Oh, by the way, this has tax on it. This has tax on it. Pay this tax. Pay that tax. You can't do this. You can't do that. Oh, my God. That is not fun. For me, that is not fun. I can't handle it. I'm not... I, I don't know how to deal with it. All the bills you have to pay, all the stuff. Life is not simple in the West. Everyone's looking at you. You're part of the wrong place. You get a ticket. You don't pay it. You end up in court. It's, it's, it's messed up. It's very messed up. I have problems with rules. I'm sorry. Thailand, thank fuck, is still free. If you are a foreigner here, learning, earning income online into the country, there's some interesting ways you can set up your tax, which I discuss inside my gentleman's club and mentorship group. We have a big group of us in Thailand. We are connected together. So if you are a guy that is a, wants to be an online entrepreneur, you need help with visas or tax situations, that sort of stuff, you need someone to ask, and it's a very much an interest to you, check out the link below and you can come and join us. But... In Thailand, thank fuck, you are still free. You are just left alone. There's no real cameras. There's no speed in a parking ticket. There's no real issues. If you have an issue with somebody, it's normally just a small fine to pay and you can get on with your day. It is no problem at all. You just, if you're not causing any trouble, if you're just being, I don't want to cause trouble. I just want to be me. I just want to have fun. 
just want to swing from the trees. I just want to climb a couple of trees a day. I just want to ride my motorbike sometimes without a fucking helmet on. And if I get caught here, no problem. Okay, I've paid the fine and I'm back on my way. Caught in the UK, oh, you got to go. Your bike's been taken. you got to go to court. Thailand, thank God, God bless, praise this country, it's still a free place to live. You're not getting council taxes in the, in, the, in the post. You're not getting issues like that. You're not getting phone bills and direct debits and stuff. It just doesn't exist. And freedom for me and a lot of other men is number one. And Thailand is paramount for that. You are absolutely free in this country. And that is the problem with the West. Is the rules and regulations. Here people are carefree. They don't care what you're doing. As long as you keep them to yourself and you're not harming anyone. And that is what I love about Thailand. So pretty much what I just said. But this is why Thailand's paradise to me. As I said, climbing a few trees a day is me climbing a coconut tree. Just minding my own business. Enjoying a Cuban as a free man. Sitting in a nice place. Drinking reasonably priced water. Because I don't really drink booze anymore, but smoking a very nice Cuban, drinking nice water, eating a nice steak at a reasonable price in a beautiful climate with beautiful women that are interesting and lovely and don't speak my language, so they are not incredibly annoying. Here we go, we've got some lads from the Gentleman Club riding ATVs, just fucking absolutely gunning it through the jungle together, doing stuff like that. You just, you've just you got too much health and safety in the West. They wouldn't let us do half the stuff. We're popping freaking wheelies, we're... we're we're spinning out the back. We're doing donuts. They don't care. You fall off. You ram each other. They don't care. There is none of this bullshit that goes on in the West. Another reason why Thailand's absolutely fantastic. Martial arts. Every man should be doing martial arts. And it's very encouraged here. And it's very fun. Muay Thai is incredible. Sun, sea and sex. What more can you want? You want to be looking cool. You want to be looking like a surfer dude. Straight off the beach. Nice tan. Sex with beautiful women. Coconuts. Very good for you. Great 5G has to be mentioned if you're an online entrepreneur you can get 5g anywhere upload youtube videos from anywhere from your phone with a hotspot bangkok's epic epic city i don't live there i live in Koh Samui, but bangkok is an epic city you can do anything there you can shop for anything there it's awesome no need for a motorbike license no need for fancy rules i recommend getting an international license otherwise you could have some trouble getting pulled over but you can ride a motorbike without having to do a motorbike course here is what i mean and ladies come here to find themselves. Women from all over the world come here to find themselves and go on holiday and they find themselves in my bed and they will find themselves in your bed if you want them to be there. Plus Thai women are beautiful, amazing, lovely women. If you know how to navigate relationships and you are a dominant guy, you will you will get on very well in Thailand and you will enjoy it a lot. So, what you've all been waiting for, how the hell do you actually do it? How do you actually move here? What value am I going to give you? how I did it so I decided to just book a ticket and leave because it was too complicated for me to do on the internet I'm going to run you through the options you currently have so at the moment you could buy a ticket from pretty much I'm going to do for the UK this might apply to others but from the UK you can buy a ticket to Thailand one way you're going to get into Bangkok at Bangkok you can get a visa on arrival for 45 days you'll be able to stay in the country and whilst you're in the country you can extend for another 30 days no problem no problem, no questions asked. So you've got 75 days off the bat. I recommend anyone thinking of coming to Thailand, you do that. You don't need to do the paperwork before you come. Just arrive at the door, get your, get your visa on arrival, come into the country, see if you like it. If you're working online, you've got money coming in. Don't come here looking for a job without a visa. Don't come here trying to find work. That's not what it's about. It's about bringing money into the economy, helping the Thais, helping boost this wonderful place. So if you've got money coming in online and you want to come to Thailand, just come and move it. You can work from your laptop. You've got 75 days here to see if you like it. Try a few places out. I'd recommend you try Koh Samui, Koh Phangan if you're more of a hippie. I wouldn't personally stay there. Phuket, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Bangkok. Check them out. See what you think. Go on a little tour. That's your first thing. Or you can choose one and settle down and start working on your laptop. Totally up to you. What I'd recommend you use to book your first accommodations is a, there's a website called Agoda, which operates here. It's like a travel website. Very good for finding finding rooms. You can find apartments, great hotel stays, all different sorts of stuff. So when you first get it, you can do that. I would recommend doing that for a week. And when you get to the island that you want to go to or the place you're thinking of settling down, just reach out and find an estate agent, join the Facebook groups in that area, spend your first seven days in the hotel and then find longer term accommodation. You'll find it very easily. It's very carefree. You just get it all done. No problem. 
if you need help with accommodation, I do have connections. I've got estate agents, uh, everything. I've, I've helped a lot of guys in our gentlemen's club move to Thailand now. I know great, great visa connections, great um, accommodation connections, where to live, where where the best places are. I can give full advice. So if you want to join the gentlemen's club, you're interested in that, you want to speak to me on Zoom, we have a mentorship and gentlemen's club, which is down below. You can check that out. But what I recommend you do is that. So you come here and you get the 75 days. You find some accommodation once you've arrived at the place you decide to be. You use a Goda for your booking to get that hotel. And then you find your longer term rental. Once you are here and you want to extend your visa, you have a few options. What you need to do is find a visa company inside Thailand. So some of you might be, you might be a little bit scared. You might think, what if I come here and then after 75 days I can't stay? Don't worry. Just know this. In your head, there's always a way in Thailand. They don't, don't want to kick you out. You're making money. You're staying and you're spending it in their economy. They don't want to get rid of you. They want to keep you here. So you just look for a visa person in your area. Ideally, after 75 days, you connect. You make some connections. You speak to somebody who's already done it. They give you the advice and the connection. You end up paying $1,000 or $1,500 for a year's visa. That's a connection that, that I can do currently. Um, and you can stay here. You can get education visas, longer stay visas. Absolutely fine. I do not recommend overstaying without getting a visa. That's a very bad idea. You don't ever want to do that. But if you connect and you speak to people as you're going around, you will find a way to get a visa. So you don't need to be worried about that. If you Obviously, if you want my contacts, if you want to know a way to find online work before you come out here, if you're trying to leave the 9 to 5, all of that stuff we help you do inside the Gentleman's Club. A couple of ways I recommend, one of the best ones you can do is a sales job online. We have a sales academy inside the Gentleman's Club training you up and then showing you how to find opportunities in online sales. We do that in the Gentleman's Club, but I'd recommend if you've got some sales experience, just find an online closing role where you are closing for someone online. You can run a marketing agency online. You can do content creation. You can do online fitness coaching. There's a whole load of different options. And the beautiful thing about Thailand is you need about $2,000 a month to live a comfortable life out here. Obviously, you can spend more. You can spend way, way more. But if you've got that, you can live a comfortable life here and you can build your business out here and it gives you that dynamic. So boys, I hope that has helped you. I hope you've enjoyed that video and I hope to see a lot of you in Thailand. I think it's absolutely the best place on earth. God bless the king in Thailand. God bless Thai people. I absolutely love them. And I'll be staying here for the foreseeable future. I absolutely love it. So boys, I hope to connect with a lot of you in the Gentleman's Club. Be cool. We run a lot of events out here in Thailand. So if you are around, be sick to connect. Apart from that, boys, I will see you on the next one. Whoopah, whoopah, whoopah.